Hello princesses, today I'm going to be doing a short and sweet get ready with me featuring some of the regular products that I use and a few new techniques that I've been using recently. So if you'd like to see how I created this look, then please just keep watching. Okay, so today I'm going to be using the Morphe 2 Hint Hint Skin Tint. This one I... It's my door open with the wind, hold on. This is the like most bizarrely flash but terrible house I've ever been in. <clears throat> the doors, they don't actually light properly, like you can't lock it and you can't actually latch the door closed on some doors. So my bedroom door and then the upstairs bathroom doesn't latch. So like a breeze of which oh, for some reason this house is just like in a super windy area, it must be, um, a breeze or even a super strong breeze will come through and the doors will just start opening which is like real cool at night or you know when you're trying to do something but it's not even remotely high on the priorities list because the previous tenants had cats and the house still absolutely reeks of cat pee from one of the rooms and it's been about a five five month battle to get the um, property manager to fix it so that's cool so you know also the hot water kept turning itself off which is also great and then underneath the sink smells like sewage and the house was only built in 2021 i feel bad for whoever owns the house assuming that they were the previous tenants because the previous tenants kind of just i think messed it up to be honest and that sucks because it's a beautiful house otherwise it's like really big and modern Oh, my bathroom mirror has lights on the back of it and it like heats itself up so it gets not foggy. Super cool, you know. Anyway, <clears throat> that's my complaint. <laughs> so I've got a little like sausage dog door stop and he's right in front of the door at the moment so it doesn't open while I'm filming. Also this bedroom upstairs has this beautiful huge window but I have to close the curtain during the day because it's got direct sunlight throughout the entire afternoon and I noticed that it was like starting to sun bleach my bedspread. <laughs> so, you know, that wasn't cool, but it also kind of messes with the filming because there's all of this white stuff, like my desk is white, and so you can see underneath my hand because the sun is shining onto the desk. Um, it's reflecting then back up underneath my chin. <laughs> so really need to start filming in the morning properly, but I don't want to wake up my flatmates, it's so mean. Anyway, I'm using the Morphe 2 Hint Hint Skin Tint. This one is in the shade Hint of Cream. And I'm really close to finishing it. I have a few gripes about the foundation. The first is the packaging. It just is so messy um, and I cannot get it to stay clean. Like it just leaks everywhere all the time, even when it's upright. Like just horrendous amounts of product. It's not good packaging at all. The foundation was really cheap. Even that bloody door stop. You can still hear the door slamming in the background. I'm so sorry. Yeah, the packaging just sucks. I, I wish I could take this foundation out of its packaging. I've got the lightest of the yellow colours, which is actually pretty good. Um, I've been using not a huge amount of it at the moment. I think I've had this for like two years now. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm almost out of it, to be honest. I'm trying to really try to use it up so that I can get rid of the leaky, leaky packaging. I'm tired of cleaning it. I do need to go through and just blend a few little places with my fingers. Got a few dry patches on my skin today. I did use Seretinol last night. Um, and so my skin is not super happy, especially between my eyebrows today, which is not usually a place where my skin gets that dry, so they could be okay. Then I'm going to use a little bit of concealer. This one is from Foreign Cos, um, and it's in the shade number one light beige. So I'm going to put a tiny bit of that on the back of my hand and then I'm going to use the back of the liner, like a back of a brush, to just plop some in really specific places, like right around the corner of my eye here and then I'm going to flip over and blend it with that same brush and then go back in with my fingers if needed. I have to do this quite quickly because otherwise I find that the product dries out very quickly. So I do one area at a time and then blend it and then try to get it done real fast otherwise the product will dry on the back of my hand as well. 
And then when I put it on, it'll look even fuller. But I found that this gives me like a really nice looking finish to the skin and it just makes my makeup look really a little bit more polished without being too heavy, which is nice. Putting some around the corners of my nose because that generally has a bit more redness. And then a little on the tip of the nose, down the center of the nose. I'm starting to run out of product. The product is starting to now dry out. A little bit of a lift to the outer eye as well. A little bit of forehead. A little bit on some of the scars around my mouth. And a little bit on the chin. Because the concealer is lighter than the foundation, it kind of gives like a highlighting effect as well as concealing some of the pores, which I quite like. Then I'm going to apply a little bit of blush. This one is from Rare Beauty. It is their liquid blush in the shade Hope. I can't actually remember what the blush is called. And I'm going to put that on the back of the hand as well. Because it's super pigmented, which is excellent for some people. Probably not for me though. And then I'm going to rub it into the back of the hand and then apply. We're going fairly high because we're going to go for more of a cute look this time. Mm -hmm. High and central and then a little bit over the nose bridge as well. So I'm using one finger to apply the product. <laughs> this looks like so much product on camera today, okay. It doesn't look like that to me at the moment. And then I like to give it a little bit of a press or a blend with the brush depending on what I need. Today I just need to kind of mush it together a bit. So this is how the skin is looking at the moment. Whack lighting, can't really see that much. Then I'm going to add some more freckles. I already have a few freckles, but they tend to get covered up and I kind of like them. This is from uh, an eyeliner from Dinto. It was given to me um, by YesStyle for some kind of makeup look, I can't remember. It's the one by one definer in 412 in the light. And it's kind of like, it's not really like a very dark brown. It's like a very light brown and so I find that it actually works really well you just kind of pop a few on like that and then while it's still wet just dab them with your finger so that they're not so intense also going to put powder over the top as well so this is going to dull them down a little bit but they appear as this really similar color to the freckles that I already have so I really like how this works out Surprised it took me so long to try it. I also like to put a few on the nose as well. I think it's pretty. The hardest thing for me is making sure that they look, you know, natural and cute, but also not too many of them because I don't naturally have a lot of freckles. I just have a really tiny amount. Apart from my shoulders, my shoulders are super freckled, and that is because of, um, about to say sun exposure. It's not sun exposure, it's that sunburn. Sunburn from when I was a kid. So I'm going to put a few up here as well. And you can still see, you can see like a few of the more darker freckles. I'm not even sure if those are freckles or scars. They look like freckles though. So we're going to go with that. I don't love the forehead freckles to be honest. And that's all I'm doing for the freckles. So this is how they look at the moment. I'm trying to turn the exposure now. Here we go. That's a little bit more realistic. So it's a little bit more shadowy than I would like um, in terms of lighting, but that's more, you can see more detail that way. And then I'm gonna powder my skin using the Skin Food Peach Cotton Powder. And I'm gonna go over the freckles as well. I'm just gonna go with them really lightly and they will fade into the skin just a little bit, but not a huge amount. And that is how the skin is looking so far. I feel like I did way too much on those nose ones, but that is okay. You won't really see them from that far away. For brows, I'm using my Innisfree Two Tone Brow Kit. Just the usual. And I'm gonna fill in the outer two thirds. And because we're going for more of a cute brow look, I'm going to use a brow gel for the front, the head of the brow. 
but I still like the tails to be filled in really nicely because this one here has a little gap. So by filling it in with powder, it helps to just disguise that gap a little bit more. And then I'm using the Morphe 2 Brow Crush Tinted Brow Gel. Mine's in the shade Soft Black. And I'm just gonna flip the hair up. I've got like long bloody brow hairs, honestly. They grow it so quickly. And since there's so many of them as well, I've tried to do like the soap brow, like brow lamination sort of trend, but like that is a little bit too much, you know? So I flip them into place using a brow gel, but you don't want to be doing too much more. I recently trimmed them anyway, so apart from a few which apparently I missed, um, they're pretty, pretty stationary from where they are. For eyes, I'm going to be using the Holika Holika Pinkology palette because I'm going to be doing a little review on it. I'm not feeling like a huge amount of product for the eyes today, so with a fluffy brush I'm going to be taking the light brown colour here. No idea what it's called because the colours are not on the back. And I'm going to pop it through the crease. It's like kind of pinkish. And then on the lower lash line as well. It's actually kind of like a peachy brown, which is quite sweet. And then I'm going to use this little shimmer colour here in the inner corner as well. I wish that this had a little mirror on the inside so I could see what I'm doing rather than leaning across to my own mirror. It looks a little bit like that. And that is all we're doing for the eyes for today in terms of eyeshadow. Then I'm going to go with a liquid liner. This one is from McQueen. It is the waterproof pen eyeliner in black. And I'm going to do the whole eye today. Those are two very different ways. <laughs> but um, I'm not going to change them. And then we're going to be doing mascara with the Hamish Danielson mascara as usual. And so here are how the eyes are looking with the mascara and the eyeliner on as well. Here is a close-up of the eye makeup today. So like I said, just that little peachy shade. And then the shimmer in the inner corners. It's super subtle. And then lucky last we're going to be doing lips and today I'm just going to be wearing a lip gloss. We're going to be using the, oh I think this is from Etude House, I'm going to say Etude House soft drink um, glosses. This one is in the shade Milk Soda or BL601 and it kind of looks like it's going to be clear but it's actually really 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 pale pink. It tastes like vanilla. I don't really like it because my lips are so dry right now so you get a little bit of glossiness and also a little bit of like really natural colour as well. Take the hair out of the ratchet bun because it was fully in the way today. And this is the entire look. I might try like sitting further away from the window for the next review. This go, I can open the window for more light but also not be blinded by it because yeah, you can see the glare. That's just from the bottom of the desk. There's a lot. But I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. I will try and insert some better lit footage here as well for you, maybe against like the other wall so you can see. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!